Hi, this is Jeff Zeig, and here I am in Phoenix, Arizona, at the offices of the Milton Erickson Foundation with another five-minute tips for improving your psychotherapy practice. The topic that I want to talk with you about now is pain, and that's a, a, a problem that we're all going to suffer, and it's a problem that's especially relevant to those of you who are practicing hypnosis because people often think about hypnosis as a way of helping people to deal with whatever pain it is that they're having more physical pain now that I'm talking about more than emotional pain. So when you're working with pain, there are basically three methodologies to think about. Dissociation, distraction, and modification. Dissociate if you can help the person to move themselves into a different reality that um, obviates the experience of pain. Distraction if you can get the person so that they're not thinking so much about their immediate pain orientation, and modification, where you can take the signal of pain and modify that signal of pain into something else. For example, if the person was a musician, could they change their pain experience into a rhythm? Now, there are certain principles that we use when we're working with pain. One of those is that everybody Everybody has a resource somewhere in their life for being able to modify pain. It could be as simple as washing dishes, cutting yourself, and not realizing the pain until you actually see the blood from the injury. Everybody has experiences in modifying the experience of pain. A second principle is to set the patient on a train of activity that modifies the experience of pain as the person carries it out and that could be in the form of a distraction, for example. A third principle of working with pain is to awaken people to the capacities that they have to be able to modify sensation. For example, wherever you are at this moment, you may not be thinking about sitting in the chair, you may not be thinking about your feet on the floor, you may not be thinking about the fact that you're wearing glasses, you have lots of resources for modifying sensations. So um, the paradigm is that we don't necessarily use hypnosis, not formal hypnosis, but naturalistic techniques to help to demonstrate to the patient that they can do something that modifies the experience of pain. There are myriad techniques in Erickson. Because Erickson was a person who suffered from pain, chronic pain, he was a very credible source in talking with other people about the fact that they could enjoy life in spite of, even because of pain. Erickson would say to his students, I don't mind the pain, I don't like the alternative. Now, when you look into Erickson's collective works, when he was talking about clinical entities, one of the most uh, uh, the most prolific of his contributions were on the area of pain. There's uh, many papers in Erickson's collected works where he talks about pain. For those of you who are using hypnotic phenomena, using hypnosis, any hypnotic phenomena, whatever hypnotic phenomena it is that the person does best, can be a resource for modifying pain. If the person can expand time, they can expand comfort. If they can contract time, Psychologically, they can contract the experience of pain. If the person can do am amnesia, they can forget a, use, use that to forget about the pain. If they can do hyperamnesia, vivid memories, they can in, in, uh, elicit vivid memories that obviate the experience of pain. If the person can do age regression, they can go back to a time before they had the pain. So one of the ways that we work with hypnosis with pain is to mine be a miner, mine for the hypnotic resources that this person has, perhaps in terms of hypnotic phenomena. Once you find a hypnotic phenomena that the person can do best, how can you help that person to use that hypnotic phenomena to set themselves on a train of activity that modifies the experience of pain as they carry it out, that begins to elicit from the person a realization that they can do something psychologically, mentally, emotionally that modifies their experience of pain. This is Jeff Zeig. Here I am in Phoenix, Arizona at the offices of the Milton Erickson Foundation with another five-minute video. Thank you.